Yo guys, what's up? Back at you with another video and today, as you guys may have known, I own a 2012 MacBook Pro. I'll show it to you right here. Here it is. It is very, very it's it's heavy. It's big and clumsy, it has a hard drive, it has a CD drive. I mean Wow. Last time something had a CD drive was actually 2012. I mean, uh, last time a MacBook had a CD drive. Anyway, it works perfectly fine, but uh, it doesn't have macOS Monterey, which I need, or no, I need Big Sur to download iMovie to edit videos, but I, I bought a 2015 MacBook Pro. This runs the newest operating system, macOS Monterey, and we're going to be comparing it to this MacBook right here. So, let's get both MacBooks side by side. Here's both MacBooks side by side. And um, here's something I noticed that I didn't know. Oh, I mean, first of all, before I say that, look how much thinner the 2015 one is from the 2012 one. Oh, and this one. You can hold it with one hand. It's like, it's super light. And it's a pro. It's a pro. I mean, that'd be, you could do that with an Air from 2012, but like, this is a Pro, and it's super light. Anyway, what I was saying is, uh, the, these both have MagSafe, obviously, but the MagSafe chargers, I thought they would be the same, but they're actually different. Here are the two. Here is the one for the 2015. It's a little slimmer and it doesn't fit see how this is this one is uh that port is pretty long and this port's not as long this one doesn't fit in here because it's too uh short but it does fit in here like that so that's how that one works and then this one's longer obviously it fits in there so first thing we're going to do, since these are both powered off, is going to do a boot time. But uh, These are both cold, a cold boot time. So, I'm going to open both of them up. And you're going to see that this one has the macOS Monterey wallpaper, but it's, as I said, not running macOS Monterey. So, what we're going to do is we have right here a timer. And I'm going to set you guys on this tripod. And then we're going to time them and see which one's faster. I mean, obviously, I think the 2015 one is going to be faster. But it would be always be worth seeing. All right, guys. I have both power buttons. All right. Time has started. 2015 one on the left. I mean, sorry, 2015 one on the right, 2012 one on the left. Oh, this one's already really fast. And what we're going to do is lap it so that we get both the times. And then we're going to do the how long it takes for it to go to the password screen. And then how long it takes f to go to the uh, desktop, to load to the full desktop. All right, lap for that one. That one was 33 seconds. Wow. The new one is super fast. The old one's still ticking along with its hard drive. With its very uh, slow 4 gigabyte storage. Uh, no, not storage. Uh, if it had 4 gigabytes of storage, that'd be insane. And stop. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, just a sec. This is what the uh, the 2015 got 33 point one nine seconds. If you can see that, yeah, 33 point one nine. And then the old one, 59 point six nine. So a minute. Like, all right, look. There, that was 80 sec. It's so. It was a minute, so one minute, so pretty much, this cuts the time in half. And now, I'm going to enter my passwords on these things, 
and then push enter at the same time and see which one goes uh logs into the full desktop All right, there's that password All right, here's both the passwords and I'm going to push reset on my stopwatch and then push both the enters at the same time. All right, we got Okay, for the All right, there there we go. So, this one took 5 seconds, 5.89 seconds. And then this one took 11 seconds. So, man, the new one is still so much faster. Now here, you'll see I have the same files, because I switched everything over. And then, there's a beautiful iMovie right there. And then, what these can do, is I'm going to pull up battery health, and see which one has the best battery health. Alright, here we go. Here, this one, the 2015, has a hundred and three percent health and eighty three percent charge. That's just because it's actually just at eighty three. Um, the current charge is five thousand four hundred four milliamps. The current max is six thousand eight hundred thirty, and the original max was sixty six, uh, six thousand six hundred. So it has more current max than it did original. Which is amazing. Battery health, uh, battery macOS health stats are are graded good. Uh, time on the battery one minute. This battery is brand new, by the way. Cycles. It has four cycles. Do you see that? Four cycles. And then the manufacturer date January eighth, twenty eighteen. Uh, no, not 2018, 2021. Temperature, 25.6 degrees. The watts and so on. And then we move over to this one. 92% health. Um, 39% charge. That's just because I haven't charged it. Um, and the current charge is uh, 2,080 milliamp hours. And then the current max is... Uh, 5,323 and the original max was 5,770 so that's definitely not great but it's not bad at all and the, the it's still good on this it's still why, why'd you go away it's not a touch screen it's from 2012 I don't know why I did that all right Cycles, 544. <laughs> so, we have 4 over here, and then 544. And then seven and a half years old. So, this battery had been replaced at one point. Because this is from 2012. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Um, Manufacturer date. Oh, it had been replaced, yeah. January 7th, 2015. So this battery had been replaced when this one was new. This one had been replaced last year. Barely. Uh, yeah, well, last year, pretty much. A year and a couple months. Alright, guys, that's that test. Now, let's see which one can load to Google Chrome the fastest. Alright, here we go. I'm going to push them both at the same time. If I can. Oh, wait. Tripods are amazing. Right? Alright, there. Let's press both at the same time. 2015, man. 2015 is where it's at. Oh, and 2015 still had the scissor keyboard. Not the butterfly that everyone knows what happened to that. The scissor switch keyboard. And force touch trackpad, which is so, so nice can scroll you can but you can scroll by just touching it with two fingers it's amazing see look it's scrolling well y'all 
And then this one, it's so annoying when you're like up here on the trackpad, it does not click at all. Like you can push as hard, it will not click. So that's annoying, and it's not force click yet because I have to click it in the sound. This one has haptic feedback, so it, it has a sound. But it's way uh, a s smaller noise. Now, let's see which one can open Safari the fastest. I think you guys all... Oh, dang it. I accidentally opened it. I think you guys all know the answer, but I'm just comparing them. And then I'll compare the pr prices for these things. Alright, so we got Safari on the 2015 on the right. And then 2012 on the left. Oh, this one just appeared. Wow. That's, th this, this is still on Safari. Alright, well that's that. Now, what other tests should we do? I know. Um, let's compare the, like, cool, quick features that the 2015 has. Like, you can do this, two fingers, and, well, I'm not exactly sure. And then, the, oh yeah, like, you can do this and pull them up. Dang it, I'm not, I haven't mastered this. I got this thing yesterday. I thought it was like this. Oh yeah, yeah. You just take your both fingers and swipe this way. You can add these and you can add like uh, certain ones like it gives you options when you push edit you can add podcast ones and all that this one nothing happens because it's on the old software and it, you, th these are like are like this you can add these things to uh, iPads too and then you just click and it goes away like that and then you just push this and you have all your settings here, just like on an iPad. It has all its settings. I thought that's pretty cool. Um, this one doesn't really have any of that. Oh, and the, the displays, Retina versus just normal. It's it's a huge difference. I was using this every day. I didn't really t mind it. But then when I got this, I was like, uh, I didn't really notice. But then when I went back to this to uh, like transfer my information, I was like, oh my gosh, this display is hideous. And honestly, it's not that bad, but compared to this display, the 2015 is just so much better um, in every way. Anyway, guys, I think that about wraps it up for today's video. Oh, and the battery life is is not good on this even though it got replaced but this one is way better anyway guys if you haven't already please be sure to comment like and subscribe I make videos about trains like model trains uh like these ones here here we go they go all around my room everywhere yeah that's uh those are fun videos I make videos about um motorbikes and bikes like engines motorcycles stuff like that make obviously videos about tech which is pretty cool um pretty much any rc car videos i make rc car videos challenges we do challenges this channel is gonna grow and grow and uh i just hope you guys are along for the ride so without further ado i'll catch you guys later